Okay, so for today's assignment, you are going to try and model this idea of radiometric dating, which we, you should have learned about yes, in yesterday's assignment. Remember, relative dating gives us an approximate age of something compared to another. For example, we can say that certain rock layers or fossils found within a rock layer are older or younger using the laws of relative dating. Yesterday, we learned about radiometric dating, which is a process that scientists use to dis determine the exact age of a rock layer or fossil found in a rock layer by watching how long it takes for certain radioactive isotopes to de decay. So today we're going to kind of try to model that using pennies. So you can do one of two things. Um, you can either get 100 pennies or 100 coins from around the house. If you do not have 100 coins or pennies lying around the house, you can use the virtual coin flipper that you can access using this website here. Um, the pennies for this model lab will represent the element carbon-14, which they talked about in the video, which is a radioactive form of carbon. So first thing you're gonna do is with your pennies, if you're using actual pennies, you're just gonna kind of lay them all out flat on a counter or table. If you are using the virtual coin flipper, you are going to do this. So I'm gonna click on my website link to the coin flipper. And you need to change these two options. So you're gonna flip 100 virtual coins of the type. Now the first ones are all just kind of foreign currencies. If you scroll all the way down, you should be able to get to US and I'm gonna use the pennies. So the first thing I'm gonna do is flip my coins. When I click on that, it'll bring you to a screen that has all your virtual coins flipped, okay? So what you're gonna do, which is step number three, you're gonna remove, if you're using actual coins, all the coins that show tails. Tail-sided pennies, are going to represent the atoms that have decayed and are no longer radioactive. And then you are going to count all the number of pennies that are heads up. Heads up pennies are going to represent atoms that are still radioactive. Once you've counted how many you have remaining, you're gonna record them in the actual assignment for today's assignment, which should look something like this. It is a Google Sheet. It contains the data table where you're going to record your data. Okay, so it has the first part already filled out for you. Zero years. Um, you should have 100 pennies or 100 radioactive atoms remaining. Flip number one, which is the one we just did, or year one, we're going to count how many heads up we have and record it here. So I'm going to go back to my virtual coin flip and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. So in my table, I am going to record 57 number of pennies with heads up or our radioactive atoms remaining. Now I'm gonna continue this process. If you are actually using pennies, you should now only have however many heads up you had landed left and put aside the tails. If you are using the virtual coin flipper, you're gonna hit this go back button and you're gonna flip again. But instead of flipping 100, you're gonna flip the total number that you had remaining. So for us, that was 57. And again, I'm gonna click flip my coins and I'm gonna do the same process. I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I'm going to go back to my assignment. And I had 29 heads up remaining, which in, for our model represents the number of radioactive atoms remaining. At this point, you should get the idea. I'm going to continue this process until either I finally get to zero pennies and I have no more to flip, or I have done 15 coin flips.